Welcome to another tutorial from Master the Oracle. For more tutorials, see our website at www.rcoracle.net. Also, make sure you sign up to our newsletter, Oracle Tips and Tricks. So just go to rcoracle.net, oracle tips sign up.html. In this PL SQL tutorial, we're going to look at loops, which are one of the types of control statements available in PL SQL. First thing we have here is a normal for loop. Uh, as you can see, the first thing we have to do is declare the loop counter, which in this case is i, then we start our anonymous block here, and we have our loop segment for i in 1 to 100 loop, and then we just output the string hello world to the screen. Uh, that's the body of our loop, and then we end the loop, and obviously we end the anonymous block. So when we run it, what we see in the DVMS output window is this 100 hello world. So I'm not going to count them all, but uh, they will all be there. They're up, so that's it. Right, so that's uh, a plain for loop. Uh, next thing to look at is a cursor for loop. So let's do that then. So we'll get rid of this. I oh, know we'll leave that declaration there. It's not going to do any harm. And we'll change this for our, this loop here. So we'll wreck uh, in. Select employee ID from EM employees. And we need to put a bracket around that. And we need to change our DVMS output statement. And we don't need that quote, so we rec which is our variable and employee ID, like so. So we just have a quick look, does that look correct? Yes, we've got uh, implicit declaration of our variable here, implicit declaration of our cursor here, sorry, here, and our loop statement on this line up here. And the body of our loop here, which again is just DVMS output. And we end the loop here, and then we just end the anonymous block. So we go back to our DVMS output window, we'll clear the screen, and we'll rerun, our, we'll run our anonymous block like so. And we go to our DVMS output window. And uh, as you can see, we have all our employee IDs. So what happens if we want to select more than one column from the data, from the table? Well, it's easy. We just need. No, we won't. we'll have it as two separate ones. So we'll we'll also select the first name concatenated with the last name. Um, and so we'll go back to the DBIM setup window, clear that and rerun our anonymous block. Uh, in fact, before we do that, we need to change the the DMS output statement. So we'll concatenate with a space and followed by whoops, let's spell it correctly, otherwise we will get nowhere and we need to give this second column an alias, this concatenation of the first and last name. Uh, um, we'll see that we get an error. Yes, what we've done wrong is we haven't put two vertical lines in for the concatenation symbol, so we need to do that and rerun it. And now we can go to the DBMS output window and we can see that uh, the results of a query. So the important thing to note is that we don't need to declare the variable here um, and we don't need to declare the cursor. We can do if we like, but we don't need to. So we get an implicit cursor. Right, so the other type of loop is a while loop. So this looks like this. So while, uh, in fact the format is while condition loop. So while go loop and DBMS output put line and we'll um, we'll put 
it out. Hello world again. And to make sure the loop ends, we need to do this. We need to set the, uh, the condition to false. So we change our declaration and we'll call that go, which is going to be boolean. And we go to the DB myself, but we'll now clear that and run our thing like so. We still don't get anything. The reason why we don't get anything this time is because we haven't, uh, it's an important thing to note is that we haven't, the condition is not met. So we said while go, meaning while go is true, then loop, but all Boolean uh, variables declared will default to be false. So we need to declare it to be or initialize it to be true. And then we can rerun it. So what will happen is now it will test it. So if it's true, the condition is true, go is true, which it will be. So it will go through this loop, set it to false, and then the loop. So it should only go through once. So let's check that that happens. And there you see, we get one hello world out of it. Tutorial was brought to you from Ask the Oracle. For more Oracle tutorials, hop over to our website at www.asktheoracle.net.